Oh my God, she was so much fun to play. I mean, I, I, oh, my hair looks so good. I'm going to cut my hair like that again. Um, sorry, I'm like, oh, like, yes, Wait, that's Debbie, the hair. Focus. Too- <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where Caliente guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm social distancing with Debbie Mazar. Debbie, how are you feeling hey. right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ava Gardner. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, um, I was sick for a good 20 days and I you, basic, you had the coronavirus, correct? I did. And I had it bad. Um, Are I you got fully sick. Recovered? And, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I'm so happy that you're here. Let's do this. Ooh, oh my God. I remember this like it was yesterday. You and Madonna have been BFS for decades. And you guys, I know, met on the downtown scene. You were a makeup artist. She was an aspiring singer. But how did you go from being like her club buddy to ending up in her music videos? Um, she walked into my elevator. I was working at a club called Dance Satiri, and I was an elevator operator. And, um, and she goes, hey, you want to dance? So we got on the dance floor and tore it up, exchanged phone numbers. And that was it. We became friends. Um, I was trying to do my own thing. I was studying acting, but makeup was my way of paying my bills. So one day I was doing uh, the hair and makeup for Speed the Plow. Everybody had gone home and I got on a stage. It was empty. And at the end of the monologue, I I heard from the background. And I was like, oh my God, Um, like somebody saw that. And it was the costume girl. And she goes, Debbie, that was fantastic. You really should take acting lessons. I took her advice and I started going to different, you know, acting schools and I studied for a couple of years before I got my first gig. Um, it took me some time to switch from doing makeup because I was really earning a living. I had to pay my bills. So it was a nice way to juggle, you know, going to school, doing my acting. I finally got an agent. Then one day I had to make the decision to stop working as a makeup person because I started working. Let's get to the next clip. You ready? I'm ready. Oh my God. Okay. Such a great movie. I mean, arguably one of the best films in Hollywood history, and it also happens to be your breakout role. How did you land in Martin Scorsese's orbit? I had an uh, agent and I said I had an audition. The way that I found out that I had gotten the part is after the final chemistry with Ray Liotta, um, I ran to a payphone. Remember those things? And I called I my agent and I'm like, oh my God, I felt, it felt really good. I, I hope, you know, they liked me. I, you know, it felt right. And she was like, girl, they just called. You got the role. It's like, you know, I had done some smaller stuff, but that was like my first big real movie. And it was Martin Scorsese. So it was a big thrill for me, a wonderful experience. And um, that scene that you just showed, uh, whatever that, I think what they were, um, we had to snort it was called inositol, which is a, a laxative. <laughs> so, oh. um, yeah. Okay. Um, so that was, that was, that was, that was fun. Um, oh. <laughs> I kind of became like a little bit of like a New York it, it girl, like Spike Lee discovered me after that. And I went on oh, to do. Did. Well, 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 let's go to the next clip. Hold okay. that story. Cause I think it's going to apply. Okay. So what do you do? Name it. Which one? Like, claim it. Booty does catering. Uh, Rich joints. Are Malcolm X was an amazing experience. Mm. Because of the, the, I mean, the amount of talent that he had working with him. And, you know, between that and the cinematography and Terrence Blanchard, um, and also the costumes and the wigs and the time period. How did his directing style differ from Scorsese's? Uh... Well, I mean, every director has their own style. I think with Spike, um, Spike liked my ability to improvise. Um, but, you know, everybody's got their own thing. Like, you know, I, I, I've only done one Martin Scorsese movie. Um, in fact, when he did The Irishman, I was saying to my manager, like, you know, like, I, I want to go in on that. And she goes, and they like, you, they know you were ready from Goodfellas and they want like something, something more specific for, for the people that they cast and Marty actually doesn't tend to cast women a second time. But, um, but yeah, no, I mean, I, 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 it's hard for me to really compare directing styles because everybody has their process. Um, and my job is just to 
take the material and make it come alive. Welcome back to Couch Surfing. I'm still here with Debbie Mazar. Debbie, shall we continue? Absolutely. I'm ready. Yay! It's so much fun. I love this. I know. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm-hmm. This scene's so funny. Right here, I was walking down the street without shoes. In this scene right here, I'm crossing Madison Avenue, and I was told to take my shoes off. And they didn't have any slippers available. You wouldn't be taller than Pacino? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, just for that one scene, it was it was great. I had the best time working on that. First of all, I love Michael Mann. Um, he, he, very intense movie to make. It means about the tobacco industry. I was portraying somebody who uh, is a real person. And I, I just loved it because with, with Michael, he strips away all this. He always, you know, dresses me in his movies um, very professional, and I love that. <laughs> Look, I'm a Christmas tree, you know? <laughs> and he just likes it very natural. So um, it's it's great because the performance can shine. It's not about the look. It's about the character. Yeah. All right. Well, this next gal is certainly a character. <laughs> Let's watch it. <laughs> oh, Lord. So you are a spindly, weasley prick oh queen, and God. I swear to God, if you print that about Gary Busey, <laughs> I'm going to do everything in my power to ruin your f***ing life. I'll see you back at the office, Christy, all right? All right. <laughs> Stay on top of that dude. Shauna was a lot of fun to play. I mean, I was the first, uh, I was a series regular from the beginning. Um, I was kind of a, uh, almost like embarrassed by my dialogue because I, I, I curse and I obviously have the ability to be a, a complete trash mouth, but some of the things I would say would completely make me blush. A lot of people thought the show was extremely misogynistic, but you and Constance Zimmer had two of the strongest characters on the show. I mean, was that one of the reasons you were drawn to Shauna? Because she was so strong, she was such no, a force? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't know. With TV, you don't know what they're going to write. I took a job to make money. I mean, he wrote a really <laughs> strong character, but that, that set was very testosterone-driven and misogynistic. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was days where it was hard. But then I was just going to Shauna mode and go, you know what, f*** you, bye, you know. And But, I mean, at the end of the day, my job is to deliver, and that's what I do. You ready to keep surfing? Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, keep on surfing. Okay, this is fun. Yeah. Is there garlic bread on the menu tonight? Oh, no. Really? Was I totally smelling it? <laughs> I'm always in the kitchen. Well, there's no bread. You don't serve bread with polenta. Oh, yes. Nicole Ari Parker, my mm-hmm. girlfriend, for a second. Yeah, my, my, my character's a slut, and she gets to have a lot of she gets to have a lot of fun. I love this show. I love your character. She's such a beautiful representation of LGBTQ characters in the LGBTQ community. Who did you channel when you were trying to play her initially? I um, had my one girlfriend. Her name was Yvonne. She was a great dancer. She had great spirit. Uh, she was beautiful. So I kind of based it on her because Maggie, my character, is gay. And originally, I wanted to play her more butch. I wanted okay. to play a butch. But Darren Starr thinks I'm sexy, and he wanted to see me in those heels and to keep it very femme. Darren Starr knows a sexy woman. He brought us sex in the city. So Yes. <laughs> and he loves women in general. Yes. Okay, I think it may be time to break out your, uh, your backup dancers over there because this next clip... <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> and yes, I'm an indecent American, Signora Decente. Mm. Okay. So, so you played the legendary Ava Gardner. Ava Gardner was somebody that appealed to me because she had this great spirit and there was always these great images of her, you know, in Spain watching the bullfights or with her having a cigarette and a cocktail. Yes. I came into this project um, because uh, I, I know Pedro Almodovar, the director in Spain. Um, and through Pedro, I've met Rosy de Palma. She goes, Debbie, listen, I have this friend Paco Leon, and he has this project, this fabulous, this fabuloso, and he wants to play Ava Gardner. So um, when I did the audition, I did it in Spanish. We filmed the scene. They loved my tape. 
I sent it right off and I got the call like two days later. You've got the part, but you've got to go study Castilian Spanish. So we worked, I worked and worked and worked. And when I got to Spain, they, um, they, I had a coach. I had to like, um, shoot, uh, constantly because I had to then go back to New York and shoot younger. So I had, they had to kind of squash all my scenes, uh, into the three months that I was there. They kept on going after I left, but, um, it was really, uh, one of the most wonderful experiences of my life. Shooting in another language, having the, 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 having to be that, uh, studied and creative. And then I literally fell in love with Madrid. Well, yeah. I've fallen in love with you, Debbie. I've, oh, likewise, Lola. Thank you so much for surfing by. You were fantastic. And Arte Madrid so is fun. available to stream on MHZ Choice now. See you next week on Couch Surfing.